y'all it's tony and welcome back to my channel it's been a, a couple months since i did a favorites video so i figured i would get a favorites video done for you guys i got some stuff that i'm really in love with so let me tell you my first favorite here's my first favorite the claire sonic mia look i i have to admit that i was not a believer at first i'm I started with this one. This is the, the Mia with the one speed and one brush, a hundred bucks at Sephora or whatever. Love this. Love this. It's, um, it just, see in my mind, it was like one of the things you do like this, but it actually just vibrates and it vibrates the dirt that you didn't get. Let me tell you what dawned on me once I got this and used it. I was like, thinking dang so my face been dirty most of my life especially since i wear makeup because it's like you feel like you're jamming like and i did this and then i did that but when you do it with this it's like oh is that what your face is supposed to feel like when it's clean 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 this thing right here i'm a believer it's the truth i talked my mama into going to go get one she's like she loves makeup and all this stuff, and she loves hers too. So, and then another thing that I think is cute is the charger. You don't like put this, and this don't have nothing to do with the price of tea in China. The magnet, and it just kind of sucks on there, and you just plug it up and it charges up. I love it, and it's pink, it's cute. What else? Um, oh, my phone is just really. My next thing, I don't know if I talked about. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in another video. It seems like I did, but I think it was a video that I filmed and never posted. Anastasia's Glow Kit, bomb, bomb, bomb. I love it. It's this one, this particular, they have two. One has like pinky kind of colors in it, and the other one is this one, and it's called That Glow. It has four different colors. So it has like a, um, a lighter yellowy more kind of gold and it's called sunburst a color called bubbly which is kind of a champagne color and then there's gold bronze and dipping in gold i use these two in general if i'm feeling fancy i'll put these on but i usually use both of these at the same time for my highlight and i absolutely love it i have a couple friends that have bought highlighters before and they're like, I don't, I, it's hard to find highlighters for the brown girls. Typically, I use this one or I use the Becca uh, Topaz one that's really pretty. Uh, I did this one in a favorites video not that long ago, but I think it was maybe in December or January. But check this out. Love, love, love it. I guess I need to turn my ring off because people just going to keep texting me if I don't. My next favorite is ColourPop Lippy Pencils. Unless you live in a cave, you know about ColourPop. And that's probably not fair to say. If you're into makeup, nine times out of ten, you know about ColourPop. If you're not into makeup, it's a chance that you may have no idea what ColourPop is. But I really, I'm really digging ColourPop's pencils. I buy pencils in general from anybody that I'm not particular. But every now and then you run into one that's just, ooh, it goes on so smooth. I, I don't know if I was doing something wrong, but I've had smooth pencils and then I've had some where you like, just trying, <laughs> where it's just like, just dry and just, you just dragging it across your lip. This thing right here is like smooth, it's borderline rolling up. It's, it's really, really good and it's um, plastic, but you can sharpen the plastic. That's my other favorite, ColourPop Lippy Pencils. Try them out. I think they're... I have another one called something else. I can't think of what it is, though. But I have another one that I really, really like. I'll probably get more. You know what I mean? Anyway, so another favorite, Queen Bee Coco Lashes. Now, I have Coco Lashes on right now. <laughs> So when you open Coco Lashes, they look real aggressive. Like, since I'm kind of new to the lash game, I like wearing stuff that looks 
natural. One day I was like, you know what? I'm just going to put, I'm just going to try it. I'm digging these lashes. In the box, again, if you decide to order them and you get them to your house and they look a little aggressive, they do look aggressive in the past. I like them. They're bomb to me. Let me see if I can find. So the ones that I'm going to show you are not clean these. However, they look real aggressive in the box, but they're not. But most of the time, I do a Jimmy Wispy or something because they feel a little more natural. Not like, hello, hello. Nunu, my daughter, one day had this bow on and we were somewhere and she was doing the most and her little, the flap on her bow hit me. I was like, girl, your bow hit my lashes. That takes how long ago. My last and final favorite for the month is by Sonia Cashew. It's this bag. I always find it challenging to pack my makeup in one thing. In general, when I pack my makeup, I have three different things with makeup. Just the most. And this thing right here, I had to travel with this bag. It's deep down there. Can you see how deep that is? It's fairly deep. So here I put my, I lay my palettes flat inside of here. A primer and lash glue, lashes, eyeliner, and foundations. Then right here, you can put your brushes. Uh-oh. Put your brushes right here. And then the brush bristles lay right here. And you just put them on top, so I guess so it won't get on everything. I think that's, well, that's what I used it for. I think that's what this for. Either way, whether it was made for that or not, for those brushes right there. This thing is bomb. So if you are, if you travel a lot, or even if you don't travel a lot, if you are going on a vacation and you're a person that has to have a good amount of makeup, I mean, not like you ain't gonna be able to carry a makeup of a professional makeup artist, but you know what I mean? Like you going, but this right here, this will get you together. I love this thing for 20 bucks. I mean, and I'm already one that borderline collects makeup bags, just a bunch of little tiny bags in bags and bags. This resolved all of my travel makeup bag issues. I will put a link to the products that I mentioned below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. Um, if you have any questions, please list them below. If you have any products that you really love, I'm always looking for products to check out. So leave them in the comment section below. And I look forward to seeing you soon. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.